Suburbia, in the eyes of some, the embodiment of the American dream, filled with cars, wide roads, restaurant chains, and shopping malls. But a seven-decade-old model, designed as a spacious escape from the crime and grime of the city, is dying. The United States is now undergoing a subtle but transforming population shift. Once crumbling, many U.S. cities are undergoing an urban renaissance, and younger Americans are leading the change. A lot of mostly young people, professional people, are coming to the city, and that's often what we associate with the, with the return to the city, which is sort of the mirror image of the decay of the suburb. Given a choice between a leafy suburb and a funky downtown, educated millennials are increasingly choosing... A funky downtown. Okay. Well, I like the atmosphere. Uh, funky downtown. There's more going on and you can decide to do something more at the drop of a hat. The culture, the food, the shopping. Following them are major corporations. McDonald's, Motorola, Kraft Heinz Foods and General Electric are all moving their corporate headquarters from suburbs to cities. This is the neighborhood where McDonald's is building its new international headquarters. One reason major global brands are relocating to the city is that urban centers have the restaurants, retail, and lifestyles that attract the workforce of tomorrow. There's just something kind of cool about a big city with skyscrapers and the glass windows and um, kind of the hustle and bustle of downtown living. It's pretty fun. Many suburbs are being forced to adapt. Some outlying areas are struggling with abandoned buildings and a declining tax base. Some, like the Chicago suburb of Hinsdale, Illinois, are growing, but in a different way. The suburbs that are doing well are actually urbanizing. They're having to increase their density, provide more walkable uh, centers uh, and opportunities for their residents as well. So suburbs that are thriving are starting to look more city-like. In other words, to compete with their vibrant urban neighbors, surviving suburbs are transforming to look more like them, and with that, the way millions of Americans will live. John Hendren, Al Jazeera, Chicago.